Hello there, and welcome to the Pyrealm Headquarters. We happen to be in the middle of one of the most important sectors of the establishment, the comment section management. Here we take a look at all of the comments that you guys have put in the videos, we laugh at them, delete them if they're nasty, and we also keep a tally of how many of them regard this Mr. Boss fellow, whoever that guy is. But why are we here, you may ask? Well, we're starting a new series where I basically answer a few of you guys' comments in the form of a mildly educational skit for some ad revenue. Uh, I mean your entertainment. Oh, uh, what's this? We already have our first one coming in. And it's from this random fella and he says... Yo man, you can charge a railgun T.I. shoot more powerful shots. This is sort of true. When I tested the Kanjale for the video, I never actually knew that you could charge up the rail cannon before firing. Here's the thing though, all it really does is increase the maximum range in which the projectile can travel. Spoiler alert, the range is still unrealistic compared to real life and the damage increase is about an extra 10% at most, meaning that on most targets that you'll be shooting at, charging up the cannon before each shot will make little to zero difference in the amount of shots it takes to take out the target. It. Don't buy the Night Shark. It's good for racing, but terrible in combat situations. NPCs can shoot you dead through the window in just a minute. It's a pretty useless combat vehicle. I wouldn't say it's useless. The main function of the vehicle is to pull a sand turret around at high speed. The turret that it pulls is very powerful when used in the hands of an expert and can dish out a lot of damage per second. The vehicle itself is fast and has the defense of an insurgent. How can you not like that? Man, the Chernobog is the most useful anti-hydro or laser griefer besides the explosive sniper. When you lock onto them 700 meters before they lock onto you, they have no chance to survive. Yeah, it's not that good. This video is for plebs, because now you can just get the starter pack which is way better. Yeah, for the price of just $40 you can get your hands on some questionably useful stuff that together will cost almost as much as the game itself. You can get your hands on some properties which are sort of good, I'll give you that, but you'll also get your hands on a bunch of vehicles including a weaponized vehicle which is, eh, yeah, sort of good, a civvy helicopter, not so good, and finally you'll get your hands on a compact grenade launcher which is completely useless because you can never hit anything with the Thing, a marksman rifle which is okay, and a compact rifle, as well as some other nit bits and small bits. I wouldn't really recommend this as a lot of stuff that you're getting is stuff that you'll never want to use. The cars in particular are not really vehicles that have any pedigree, which would be fine if you could sell them for money that you need to get something that you actually want or need, but you can't do that. Pyrealm, you can afford all of this stuff no problem, I just have to ask you how? How do you this much money in so short amount of time? Sorry to disappoint folks, but I'm not as wealthy as you think I am. I often resort to selling old cars that I never use besides making videos of them to make the cash so that I can buy the new ones. I've lost half of my cars due to the Doomsday Heist DLC. His mic looks like <laughs> yeah, the Blue Yeti mic has been subject to quite an unfortunate design choice, but that doesn't take away from the fact that the Blue Yeti is one of the best mics out there for professional applications. Unsubbed, bye. We sure had a lot of fun times together, didn't we? Annihilator guy, please, or else I orbital can on you. Pyrone Gaming presents The Guide to Blowing Up the Annihilator. Because that's what you wanted, right? Step 1. Get anything other than the Annihilator. Step 2. Fight the Annihilator. Step 3. Blow up the Annihilator, because seriously, what can the Annihilator fight against? Step 4. Stop pestering me to make a god Annihilator guide. Oh, congrats, fool! Oh, why, thank you. You're so nice. 
I wonder if Pyrone responds to comments on older videos still. Yes, I do. I'm gonna unsub just to ruin you 200k. Just kidding. <laughs> Nothing can hit you, huh? What about the orbital cannon? Can you try this, Pyrome? Let's give it a try. I'd be interested too. It's important to know that the orbital cannon is unable to see the physical roller coaster in the 3D world, but with some good coordination and timing, I was able to get a friend to hit me dead on target, and this happened. Yes, you are completely invulnerable even from an orbital cannon strike. 50 mil for a roller coaster? I can't wait to buy one! Okay guys, seriously, if they introduced this vehicle legit in GTA Online, but at the cost of 50 million, would you buy it? Yes or no? Let us know by using the vote section up top of the screen. I'd be interested to see. Can someone explain to me how this guy likes the Insurgent more than the Night Shark? This thing is way better! My friend, sometimes there is more to life than using things that are more practical and overall better sometimes. The Insurgent is a vehicle which has stood the test of time in the world of GTA, not only for being a turtle shell against Hydras, but also for being extremely pretty to look at, especially when it's chrome. Paint me like one of your French girls. That tickled. Tee hee hee. This made me think of a minigame. Step 1. Go to the maze. The real one. Step 2. Make sure you have three or more stars. Step 3. Only use the pistol. Step 4. See how long you can survive. Everybody ready? Wait, 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 let me wait, change. Hide, hide. Everybody hide. I don't want to be on the outskirts. Who's this? Who's this? Hey. Nice. Uh. <laughs> Firing line! <laughs> I mean, look on the map. If you... Oh my god, there are a lot of goblins. This seems pretty powerful. What? How am I dead? Okay, I say we have to change our camping spot now, just to mix it up. Okay, I'm pushing. Why don't you just melee him? This way, this way, this way. I'll say we're going over here. Let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. That cop just said, you weakling, like some sort of mad scientist. <laughs> you weakling. Alright, I say we have to change camping spot again. Safe, successful, Rockstar server <coughs> back online. You guys, you guys need some gasoline. <coughs> <coughs> you guys need some gasoline, boys. He didn't stand a chance. I did, I just blew myself up. Wow. Blow yourself! Okay. I'll blow myself. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blow myself up. Oh, okay, I'm gonna a blow minute. myself up. A minute to survive, guys. It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. 
So I hope you enjoyed this first edition of the comments section. If you want more of this stuff, just keep blabbering on about anything and everything in the comments section of any video on the channel. Uh, you never know, it may be featured in the next episode of the comments section. But as for now, I bid you farewell, folks.